will begin in five seconds. This panel must control our These drawers are in need of a good rifling. These drawers are in These drawers are in An old fashioned red tip wouldn't match. My zippo's out of fluid. Maybe I should keep this around for an emergency light. These drawers are in need of a good rifling. These drawers are in These drawers are in This drawer got these drawers are in An old piece of masking tape is stuck here. Looks like some numbers are printed on it. One, four, two, two, three, five. Eh, probably doesn't mean a thing. This door is the only way. The supervisor's office. This type of safe requires a six-digit code to open. If the people who worked here are anything like me, they would have written the code somewhere in case they forgot it. I wonder what's in that vial. It says cigarette viral powder. That door leads back to the hallway.
the dread. This memo consists of a short outline titled Anticipated Patterns of Organic Regrowth. Topics listed below include effects on marine life, risk of vegetation contamination, and possibility of inherent immunity. Hmm. The cabinet doors are locked. Maybe there's something worth finding inside. My home movies would look great on that screen. There must be a remote control panel that controls this video screen. Maybe it's somewhere on the conference table. This memo consists of a short outline titled Anticipated pa Desk looks like a make to the con. This desk looks. Like There's no lock. This table's solid. Oh. Some kind of remote control pad. Probably controls the audio video display. Well, the video screen works. Now I need to get something to actually come up on the screen. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not good. Some kind of remote control pad. Kid tested, mother approved. What does this guy think he is, an action? I'm pretty sure I bought a used speeder from this guy. key. Must open something here in the room. I should turn on the VCR first. Some kind of remote... Well, the video screen works. Now I need to get something to actually come up on the screen. I should turn on the VCR first. Looks like a state of... Okay, it's turned on now.
Though not an effective way to infect the mass population, <coughs> the viral powder combined with tobacco then inhaled is the quickest way to provoke death. Witness its effects on the traitor Paul Dubois. <coughs> On a larger scale, the virus can be introduced into the upper atmosphere by means of dispenser satellites. With proper flight path alignment and a minimum of 100 dispensers, Earth's atmosphere could be thoroughly saturated within 12 hours. Once in the atmosphere, the viral molecules bond to condensing moisture and create a seeding effect. The ensuing rainstorms would bring the virus down to the planet's surface. As we have witnessed, the effect of the virus is almost instantaneous and the entire fauna population of the Earth should expire within several days at most. While this method of extermination is thorough, its residual effects are significant. The atmosphere will continue to cycle the virus for years until natural decay and filtering cause the viral strain to become a negligible portion of the atmosphere. We estimate that this process will require a minimum of 30 years to complete. Let's take a look at this Buddha. Whoops, <sighs> so clumsy. Well, I'll be darned. This must be the winter chip. And it was right here under the cult's nose the whole time. This must be one of the winter chips the Colonel referred to. Sure, I'm glad to be out of GRS. I'll need to catch a few winks before I go anywhere else. First thing in the morning, I'll need to go back and check on Elena. There's been a change in plans. You and I have a date with destiny. Let's go. It feels like I've been asleep for about 10 seconds when I hear something moving through the office. Hello again, Murphy. Remember me? If not, how about now? The ability to change forms is a talent I was born with. The metamorphosis is difficult to explain, but I've found it quite useful. I haven't had a chance to thank you for your efforts to our cause. You did us a great favor in retrieving the statuette. It was the last key to fulfilling our ancient prophecies. Now we wait until the appointed time. Incidentally, I've kidnapped your girlfriend. I know you're looking for a certain computer chip. Abandon your search now, and I won't harm Miss Moore. It would be a shame to kill her. Besides, it's not easy stuffing a head into one of those water coolers. Just ask your friend Pug. He's cooling off right now. I tried for an hour to get Pug's head out of the water cooler, but it was no dice. The police showed up and thought about grilling me until they realized Pug was a mutant, and it was like they couldn't care less. That's the trouble with this world. A life's still alive, whether it's mine or Pug's, it still has to count for something. If a crime to humanity is committed, someone should have to pay for it.
The Chameleon had killed Pug for no good reason and had kidnapped Elena. I'm not about to let him get away with it. Not today.